right guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval we're on episode 9 now um, we have a lot of stuff that we still need to do for the um, what do you call it the garden here and even our library so we'll be trying to work on that today and we'll see if we can't get some of that done um, there's some things that need to be built on the second floor um, once we get the um, actual second floor and roof put on, what we can do is we can remove that part right here and that will become the lower part of the library as well. So it's that little 3x3 three three grid here. Now I'm not sure how it's going to fare with the ladders there, if it's going to make any difference or not, but we'll see how it um, works with it like this. Uh, again, it's just kind of playing around with it I, I remember it being like it would put like a bottom on the ground floor but I'm not sure if that's going to be the case on the upper part here so we'll see um fish news uh we got quite a bit of fish spawning in now we got some uh eels here and looks like some pikes uh going down this way we got a lot more fish now and going even further, we got more um, eels. So we're we're getting quite a bit of fish now uh, in the areas, and it looks like there's even some more pikes over on this side here too, which is great. We might even fish some of these up. Fish maybe two or three of them, and yeah, I'll be good. I still need to sort out the jobs. I'm gonna try sorting out the jobs today as well, and um, see if I can't get. Um, some of them a little bit more balanced and stuff like that but um, it's kind of just a really nuisance to actually try to mess around with the system because it's hard to figure out what needs to be done and who needs to do where and everything like that but uh, like I have a balance where I'm going to need a lot more gardeners but I need cooks and builders and people that mine and all that stuff so I'm um, probably what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna just make sure that everyone has a des des designated task have a couple builders have a couple farmers stuff like that um, I don't know I'll, it'll take some time to figure out the best system but uh, obviously it's just not working with what we have and the researching has gone down so I'm going to try to see if I can get everyone doing something related to their best profession. So I think there's only one thing that they don't like. and.
All right, so I got rid of the old cemeteries on the church property parts, and the reason for that is eventually I want to start planning out um, the actual church itself. Now for this one, uh, they're about the same size, I think, for the plots. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll have to measure that. We can do that right now with just a regular storage thing. So we have 21 here. So 21 by, let's see, 17. So 21 by 17, let's see what we got over on this side. So we got 22, so we'll have a little bit of space left over for the um, for that one. And I think it's probably about the same for the other one. So 17 probably, so let's just double check that. Uh, we got 16, so we won't be able to, well, as long as we're between like 21 and 17, we, we should be able to build it just fine, uh, which is an uneven number, which is perfect uh, for what we need for that, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, we'll probably even give it a little bit more padding all around the side um, and build up for additional floors. I think having more floors and then kind of making it so it's the highest building for the tower in part would probably be best because generally churches were taller than the um, highest building in the uh, the actual thing. So if we want to build something, we'll probably want at least two floors and then additional two floors for the, uh, the bell tower, which is really just what we use for the um, additional housing for people. But you know it works but uh with we'll have to move it temporarily for the actual rooms and stuff so we can actually um pull apart the church piece by piece and then start laying out new ground but uh that's that that'll be for another day um we still have the library that we're working on and that's taken a lot of their our time up but um we might be able to do one or one church this, this season. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what, what comes out of it. But um, yeah, outside of that, uh, we got, they're already started working on the walls. So as you can see here, we really got some of the walls all built up already. And they're working on this one right here. And we got some of these ones. And I told them to put like pathway in here. So eventually I want to fill this in with like a regular pathway too.
So there was this uh, lightning storm. It said uh, Thor's hammer, and uh, I was flying around just looking at where the lightning was actually striking, and it looked like it was actually doing damage to um, things. Uh, not really damage, like not to the general terrain and stuff like that, but when I came over to the church, it must have got struck because there was damage to the roofs and uh, wooden structures in there. Um, as you can see, some of the floors are missing and stuff like that. We lost a banner and um, a few other things, but um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I'm not sure how that would affect the crops. I can't imagine it would be that great for it, but um, Thankfully, it didn't hit any of our crops. Uh, I am slowly working on getting this part mined out and kind of a perimeter around the uh, thing here. I'm still debating if I should go with bricks, um, stone blocks, or something like that. Uh, we do have quite a bit of limestone, so we might go with limestone uh, for the walls. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, now that I know there's that Thor hammer thing, I'm not sure if I want to build it out of wood. I thought it, aesthetically it would look really good, but I'm kind of questioning the building material now. And I'm also wondering if that wooden thing is going to be safe enough, honestly. So I'm hoping that it won't get, like, totally damaged by the time we're finished building this. But, um, yeah, maybe we should just go with limestone and fill that in so we don't want the brick one but we can go with regular limestone here that only costs like five so it's pretty cheap but it's stronger than wood i think so i'm not sure what the hit points are on it uh do we actually have any stone brick block building yeah i think we do so it has 300 compared to 200 all right what about the stone blocks uh, that has 800 hit points. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll go with, uh, stone blocks. Or, I don't, I don't, now I am kind of wondering if the stone blocks are better for hit points for this. This is 75. And that is 50. Hmm. I don't think we actually have any stone block tiles anywhere. Maybe in the armory? Yeah. So this is 100. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. So 200 for that. Whoa. Alright guys, so we have a visitor and I'm going ahead and get the event all set up. So it's for the Oak 
uh, Brethren um, Church. So this is the actually the church that didn't get struck by lightning. It was the uh, other one, and gonna be sacrificing a goat, I think, or something like that. I don't know. Goat's on its way. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, sure, I'll come. Just love how there's no one actually pulling it over to the uh, thing here. It's just coming to its own demise. That's funny. Alright, so, yeah, this is uh, another ritual type thing for the um, Oak Betheran. Um, sometimes you get guests that come in here. And in other times, you can actually assign people to perform these things as well. But they need to be in a specific role for that, which they don't like doing general jobs and stuff. Which is a little harder because, you know, everyone that we do have it has a assigned role. Uh, we do have a um, bard, though, uh, which is a assigned role for that. So, But, yeah, it's... Um, I'm not sure exactly how this actually works, but <laughs> it says it lasts two hours, so or something like that. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, and it just collapses. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Are you sure it's not playing dead? It is a goat after all. But yeah, anyhow, I uh, just thought it would do that so everyone was a little bit happier with their uh, religion and everything like that and we got uh, some progress done we got that area mined out around the thing and I'm putting I decided to put some brick walls in here instead they have a pretty high um, damage count for what they can take so 800 and we don't even need paths for that if we do that do it that way so um, I'll probably do the other ones as well, slowly work on that, but um, outside of that, we got some stuff worked on here. If we go into the Photoshop mode, or photo mode, you can see that. That's how much we got for the second floor, which is doing pretty good. Uh, lots of stuff coming along. And uh, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to help out, definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.